Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about how to make a website easily without having to edit or create any code. Uh, how are we going to do this? We're going to use something called Joomla. Now Joomla is a content management system. Now what that means is, well if you picture yourself on a forum and you're posting a piece of content on a forum, um, how easy that is to do, then you can pretty much do the same but post your content on a website. So what do you need to run Joomla? Well firstly you need a web server in order to make your website. All websites need a web server. You can either make one on your own computer um, or buy one off the internet, which I've, I've bought one off the internet using one of the package things that you can find on various websites where they offer it. But Joomla needs PHP, MySQL and Apache, so it's best to contact your web host um, to make sure you have these and also get to get the credentials for MySQL because you'll need a username, a host name, database name, things like that to enter into Joomla to get it working. So I've already contacted my host on my details. So once you've done this, oh, I'll just show you my package I had. I was on with streamline.net and I chose the power user package and I get five MySQL databases, PHP 5 and all this stuff. So that's what I've done. And so let's get started. There you can get the Joomla stable package from this website. I'll include it in the, the, in the uh, description. I'll just provide the links. And as you can see, it's uh, maturity, six mature, whichever. Uh, we just downloaded the full package. It will come onto your desktop as a zip file. And you just extract it. And you'll get like 1,000 odd files. So I've then used FileZilla, which is an FTP program which basically allows me to copy uh, files from my desktop to my web server as you see we're not connected at the moment because I've just finished it because as we had 1740 files it took about half an hour to do it all so I'm now about to install it so hoping everything goes well I'm going to connect to my website just through a normal browser for using the test Thing, slash, slash test on the end because I copied all of these into a test folder on my web server so we're just going through normal browser pressing enter and as you can see we have a Joomla installer pre-installation check it's got several things that's checked on my computer required settings so session save pass for me is unwritable but I've already tried this previously a couple of hours ago to make sure it worked and yeah it worked so everything else seems to be green so if you have the same as this hopefully it will work for you because it works for me so so we've got four steps here which we're going to go through. I'm just going to go through these fairly quickly. We've got a license here, just a load of crap on why it's free and stuff like that. Uh, MySQL database configuration in step one. So my host name is mysql12.streamline.net. My username is mod3.co.u. And my password, I'm not going to let you hear my password or see my password. So it's, I'm not going to tell you. Database name. Mod3COU, which was provided by my uh, web host provider. So the table prefixed for this tile, I'm going to say test. And that's pretty much all of it. So we're going to say next to this, and I'm going to drag this across here. And say so the settings are correct, OK. So now it's loading onto step two. Success, type in the name for your Joomla site. So I'm going to say uh, test site, something random like that. And we're going to next it. And it's asking a URL, which is the URL I've already got, the path in the host, my email. So I'm going to say, uh, just type uh, my other email, which I don't actually check. So you can email me, but I won't see it. And my admin password is going to be my name, Duncan. Uh, I will be deleting this directly after I've done this. So there you go. Congratulations, Joomla is installed. So it's already done. Admin and the password is Duncan. So we're going to click administration. There we go, Joomla test site, for your security, please remove the installation directory including all subfiles. So we need to go back into FileZilla and we need to remove the install installation directory. So we're going to delete this. Yes, as you can see it's going to go nuts. And there you go, that's deleted all of them. So I can now just refresh this. And here we go, we've logged in, Joomla administrator. It's asking me for my username. So it's administrator. And my password was, I don't think, actually no, my username was admin, wasn't it? So we can log in. I'll have Firefox remember it because it's not going to be there for much longer. And as you can see, we have a nice little control panel here. 
and you can see I'm logged in as admin you can add users using the user manager um, so you can just say new user and then name user email so other people can access this all they have to do is go onto the administrator folder on your website this just says test because I don't want it touching my normal site even though it's a load of poo anyway so this is the test site so um, what else can I show you as you can see everything is done through this control panel at the main bit and you can also preview your website as a preview link so at the moment my website looks like this it's got a load of crap about Joomla a load of links here so I've not edited, edited any code on this, it's, it's already got its own poll uh, news flash, you can add things here, search box so this is all done by Joomla and you can log in as well to the site and it's got RSS feeds and this is all done without me needing to um, write any code so back into the administrator we click content all content items and you can see all the different things that have been if we have a look here for example latest news uh, welcome to Joomla or something like that uh, and it says welcome to Joomla here so you can open that and then hopefully well, it will open it really so I can edit it it's transferring a load of stuff from my website at the moment perhaps it's uh, here we go so as you notice this is much like a forum it's just got everything you need here title, title, alias you can put it in sections which you can use with the section manager which I can't get to while I'm doing this but um, you can make section and ca sections and categories it's much more like for a blog or something like that but yeah you can bold text, italic, add links, add smileys and stuff like that lots of different things you can do and it's all done through Joomla so you can see all the stuff that's already been done meta info, images, parameters, you can add images and stuff like that so it's very very good for uh, newbies to uh, websites who just want to make a either a simple website or a complex website but not have to worry about keep going through um, editing PHP files and uh, HTML because this is a dynamic website because it's all done through PHP so um, you can add components you can add banners to the top of it uh, I suppose this is for contacting people on your own thing but you can add polls and syndicates so let's do what installation was and then you've got all the poll titles here uh, show our menu items and you can see you've got a messaging system even <laughs> in this Joomla thing so also what you can do is find a template where you can say to site templates and you can basically just browse for a template on your computer for example a um, third party extension such as something like uh, this FTP I think you can get Joomla Explorer or something like that and that can use FTP but you just have to go onto your administrator bit and you can look for all your files on here and not even have to worry about having files either so that is one thing also you can get templates I'll show you a nice template site but I think you have to pay for it it's called utheme.com they come out with a different template every month you know, February 08 there's one I especially like if I can if I can go on demo.utheme.com so we've got a template showcase. The one I especially like is the Firefly one. So hopefully that will open for me. And here we have the top panel which slides down and lots of different, you can have this which doesn't require flash to have rollovers. A carousel. You know, there's lots of different things you can have here. Um, obviously I think this one you have to pay for, you have to be a member of Utheme or you can get it off rapid share but you don't get any support in case it goes wrong or anything like that so at the moment this is basic but yeah we still have like rollovers and stuff like that on the, on our site but you can have it looking as nice as this which like you can make it wider and smaller and things like that so it's quite a nice thing to work with um, so you can up, um, upload both uh, site templates in order to change the look of your site and third party extensions to add ex um, extra stuff like you can even have a shopping thing like a shopping cart you can add to it so this is pretty much it you can add pictures movies and all stuff like that that's uh, about it really so um, as you can see very easy to use and I haven't edited any code and already there's content on there um, and I, I can now start adding my new my new content so I'll now delete this site but thanks for watching my video this was Joomla and hopefully you'll have fun making your own one so please comment rate and subscribe